So here we are on Tuesday evening. We have the lovely Jesse and the equally lovely Barbara, who's our neighbor. And perhaps if you're lucky, you'll see some of the dogs. But if you followed the earlier, my earlier videos, you will recall that we had this amazing skin. It is um, a castrated buffalo. And I cannot remember what the name for that is in English. And so we have covered our sort of Ottoman footstool with that. And we are terribly happy. How much did it cost, Jesse? $120. Uh, plus the $100 for the skin. Correct. Correct. The skin was a bit less than $100. So for $200, we had this sort of abandoned uh, Ottoman coffee table thing that we've covered with this wonderful... And they restored it. Um, it, was, it was broken in the spine. Yes, and, and they did a fantastic job. And so we are here, and of course, uh, it's not particularly cold, but we are enjoying the fireplace. And here is the lovely Barbara, who just turned 91 um, a few days ago. So we're ever so happy to have her. And then um, I wanted to point this out because I just think it's so incredible. Um, this is a traditional um, San Cristobal grave marker. It has the crucifix and the rays of the halo around it. And if you look down at the bottom, you can see the little point which would uh, go into the ground. And so Jesse, as, as part of our spend money with local artisans instead of going to Italy project, Jesse uh, had this constructed. And so the iron guy uh, welded it to this amazing candelabra, and we are fantastically delighted with that. And he's done some other work for us, which I will, I think I can show you a piece here. This is another, uh, another grave marker of a not so affluent family that he has turned into <laughs> a, uh, to a, uh, a a no. thing to be on the sofa. That's in the fluent. Look at the, look at the detail in the uh, cross. Detail it's in... very articulated. Which cross? The one on the right. This cross? Yes. Oh, okay. So look at the detail. This is very common. You'll see this in Mexico and especially in San Cristobal, but you see the, the ladder and the heart and references to uh, Joseph the carpenter who was Jesus' father and so on. So that is uh, uh, Barbara's now having, she's apparently channeling Isadora Duncan. And um, that could be seen as, could be seen as a good thing. I'm not sure quite why she's challenging Isadora Duncan, but I, you know, I know, I know that I have a lot of followers who are very interested in um, real estate prices in San Miguel. And then there are others of you who, who do genuinely seem to have cared about my finger and my cactus and my dogs. And perhaps you care about my neighbor and her channeling of Isadora Duncan. Um, but at any rate, thank you for spending time with us. And you can look forward to more, uh, more videos in the future.